Hey everyone, this is Eric Tran, day four of the reading series from my book, The Gutter Spread Guide to Prayer, out now through Autumn House Press. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about how I think comics and poetry relate to each other. To put it briefly, I think one of the things that I admire about both forms is that they give us this imaginative space to really wonder if we're freed from the logic that sort of oppresses us day to day, what are we sort of capable of? In poetry, it loosens the syntax, um, the logics of imagery, um, and really gives you a different form to just sort of create your own sense of order, um, to put two unlike or more things together and see what sort of new truths emerge from that. Comics, I think, can do similar things. A lot of the modern ones that I'm reading sort of imagine mundane, everyday life, but in a different form. Um, and allows us to sort of explore deeper um, how we experience those day-to-day -day activities. The uh, poem that I'm going to read from today is based on uh, Mr. Miracle by Tom King. Um, it's one of my favorite comics of all time. In fact, I had bought it single issue um, because I just couldn't wait for it to come out and trade back. Um, the sort of plot of it is Mr. Miracle is a superhero whose power is able to escape sort of any trap that he's put into. And in this series, he commits suicide before the series starts. And his explanation to his wife is that he was trying to escape death, the greatest, I guess, trap of all. And what I love about this series as a psychiatrist is that there's a character um, and we relax the logic of the world a little bit to say what would happen if someone who, you know, successfully completed suicide, um, what if they could come back and tell us whether or not it actually did alleviate the pain or um, if after he waited a while, life showed him something beautiful could happen again. Um, so today I'm going to read for you from Lectio Divina, Big Barda, and Mr. Miracle. Days after he cut open his wrists, he says, You could ask me, you know, to stay. I'd fight. And she says, I can't. Scott, I told you, I'm not your way out. All I can be is your wife. In the dark, my love, I could be your window of flame. But to save the candle, you have to snuff it out. I could have never let him leave like the last webs of night. I could have stood like a dune against the tide. The sun lost ice to its own embrace, to the roots of maples whose leaves made stars of their absence.